Greetings, Nivizen. What a wonderful week for another international exposure. You're back with me, Sturgeon Maria. And in this week edition, let us review on the Indonesian Navy's success in hosting a meeting between the Chief of Australian Defence Force and the Chief of the Indonesian Defence Force. And definitely, a lot more hot international news on Leon, the Navy Weekly News. The Indonesian Navy Headquarters hosted the meeting between the Chief of Australian Defence Force and the Chief of Indonesian Defence Force. The Chief of Indonesian Navy, Admiral Muhammad Ali, accompanied the Chief of Indonesian Defence Force, Admiral Yudo Margono, to receive the visit of the Chief of Australian Defence Force, General Angus Campbell, AODSC. The visit of the Chief of Australian Defence Force is in order to strengthen the relationship between the Indonesian Defence Force and Australian Defence Force which was held at the Neptunus Gazebo Indonesian Navy Headquarters, Cilangkap, East Jakarta. The Chief of Indonesian Navy, Admiral Muhammad Ali, deployed the soldiers who participated in the United Nations Peacekeeping Mission, Unifil Task Force. The Chief of Indonesian Navy, Admiral Muhammad Ali, accompanied the Chief of Indonesian Armed Forces to deploy the Garuda Contingent Unifil Task Force 2023. The Indonesian Navy always held a role in every global peacekeeping mission, not only in the Maritime Task Force, but also in the Garuda Contingent Unifil Task Force 2023. The Task Force personnel deployed by the Chief of Indonesian Armed Force at that moment counted up to 1,077 soldiers of three services, which consisted of several task forces. This was the annual task force rotation in which replacing the previous task force. Through this, the Indonesian Armed Forces showed the international community their role in global peacekeeping mission. KRI RE Marta Dinata carried Indonesia's good name on multinational joint exercise Aman 23 in Karachi, Pakistan. After carrying out the joint exercise for 38 days, KRI Raden Edi Marta Dinata finally arrived at Surabaya after carving the achievement and carrying Indonesia's good name at the international event Multinational Joint Exercise Aman 2023 in Karachi, Pakistan. The arrival of this warship was marked by the welcoming ceremony led by the Commandant of the Sibera Task Force of the 2nd Fleet Command, 1st Admiral Edi Haryanto at Madura Ujungport, 2nd Fleet Command. Commandant of Kairi R.E. Marta Dinata, Captain Ferry Hutagal, received appreciation for successfully leading the Indonesian Navy's element in such event to the extent of receiving international recognition on the capabilities and existence of the Indonesian Navy in international community. The Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia for Lebanon, Hadrianto Tohari, invited Lebanese students to visit the Indonesian warship. Eighty-five university students, lecturers, and academic societies of St. Joseph University, Lebanon visited to see first-hand KRI Franz Kaisiapo in carrying out the Global Peacekeeping Mission in Lebanon. The event was initiated by the Indonesian Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary for Lebanon, Hadrianto Tohari, as the realization of contribution in community development, simultaneously positioning KRI as the Ambassador for Diplomacy, Culture, and Tourism. Commandant of Kairi, acting as the Task Force Commandant of the Garuda Contingent 28 and Unifil Maritime Task Force, Commander John David Nalasakti Sondak welcomed the group from one of the renowned universities in Lebanon, led by Professor Christian Tautel as the head of the Department of History and International Relations of St. Joseph University. The group then carried out ship tour and received educating presentation on Kairi in the United Nations Peacekeeping Mission in a promotional manner for Indonesian culture and tourism as well as enjoying Indonesian cuisine presented by the soldiers of Kairi Franz Kaisiapo. Kairi Sigalu assisted the evacuation of the Malaysian boat tossed around at Chula Island, Riau Islands. High waves that hit Indonesian waters disrupted a number of sea transport users, one of them being speedboat PL87 Malaysian fishing patrol boat consisting of four crew which experienced machine failure leading to the boat being tossed around at the northeastern waters of Chula Island, Riau Islands. Kairi Sigalu on Garda Indonesian 23 operation under the control of the Sibera Task Force of the 1st Fleet Command immediately rescued and evacuated the boat. Afterwards, the boat was then escorted to the south of Pelepas Cape Johor or northwest of Dipa Island, Riau Islands to be transferred to be escorted by Malaysian government-owned ship. 
And that is our Navy Weekly News this week. Don't forget to keep up with our Navy news in Bahasa by subscribing to our channel on YouTube. And don't forget to turn on the notification to get notified for more updates. Follow us on our social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And keep on supporting us to serve the best for our nation. Jala Sofa, Jaya Mahe. The glory is at the sea. I'm Surgeon Maria, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week.